emotional dolma. In the magical world that we live in we are given standards that we are to follow. If someone is a negative influence we are to shun that person. We are to give love and avoid any negative feelings. That is a very extreme point of view to have to live. We are given grounding and centering practices so that we are calm when performing magic. I have been told that one shouldn't enter a circle if they are angry. With referencing the Star Wars there is a continuation with this line of thinking. The Jedi are told to suppress their emotions and work for what is right. We have all heard the infamous statement made by Yoda. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. The Jedi were extremists that believed that all darkness should be avoided because even the smallest amount can corrupt you and turn you in a Sith. The Sith Lord told Luke that his hate made him powerful. But there can't be a middle ground in Star Wars concepts. When Darth Vader was figuring out his role with Luke, Luke told him that he felt the conflict in him that there is good inside of him. Why can't we harness a controlled balance with the two spectrums of emotions? Just like an inverted tarot card means something different than an upright card. Anything and everything can be used for good or bad. Anger is not a bad thing. And just like casting magic it all depends on the intent of the emotion. Anger used to defend that is injured or in danger is a noble thing because it is used for a just cause. Anger because someone is going to do better at a card game has poor intent and should be held in check. We can do this with all emotions and all actions. Intent determines if the emotion is justified and needed. Love, an emotion that everyone says we should promote and cherish. But here too the intent is what speaks volumes here. Why do you love this person? Is it solely because they tempt you sexually? Do they have mutual feelings for you? Is this person able to be committed to you in a relationship? So balance has to be maintained with emotions as well. We can't repress our emotions and live a healthy lifestyle. And there are times to be angry in life, just like there will be times to be sad, happy, in love, and so forth. Even jealousy can be used for positive use. Why we want something or to be able to do something is motivation to change the current situation. My friend upgraded with stereo in his truck, and I want to have a system similar to his so that I can enjoy some of the same options that he does. My mild jealousy motivates me to buy and install a similar system in my truck, and that is good. Jealousy would be bad if I decided to belittle his work or damage his system since I don't have anything similar to it. Emotions tell you if something is important to you. Many years ago there was a movie that had a part to explain this best. This married couple have been together for many years and they were having issues, the wife decided to have an affair and the husband found out. He was having issues himself and in talking to his wife he said I don't know if I should get angry or not. On one hand if don't care, I can just walk away and it is over. But on the other hand if this marriage and you ever meant anything to me, I should be angry at you. The wife responded with an unsure voice, well which is it going to be? The husband looked at her after thinking for a minute or two and said, you bitch. They then put their arms around each other and decided to fight for the marriage. That anger was needed to should this guy how much he actually loved his wife, and she needed him to get angry to know that she was still important. So I say that in perfect love part might need to go out the window for some situations. When working with darker intent magic you can't be calm and completely rational. A spell to fight back against a wrong should be done with a smile on your face and love in your heart. The sugar-coated Wiccan mentality has to be shed to be in balance and harmony. Look at the adult female bear, she is a very emotional creature and represent the dual aspects that we need to learn to embrace. A female bear alone can be aloof and be rather calm. But a female bear with her cubs is an animals with both sides of the emotional roller coaster that you need to stay away from. That bear is the teacher and mother of her cubs. She watches them play as they good forage for food. Anything gets between that mother bear and her cubs and the calm mother turns to a ravenous killing machine. The bear is in balance with nature and this is the lesson we have to learn. There are times for the anger and times for love. And with wisdom we have to make sure that the positive times outnumber the darker times. For those that think the bear isn't a good example of healthy emotional balance, take a look and songbirds, small little birds that search constantly for food to feed their chicks. They take turns protecting and searching for food. 
We walk by trees hearing the birds chirping away and think pleasant thoughts. But I have seen the smallest of songbirds take on birds twice their size or more. While driving in the country, I have seen birds like mocking birds fly at and force hawks to change course. That mockingbird is just protecting the nest. And that is well intention anger, that is part of the survival of a species in nature. And when the danger is gone, the parent returns to the nest and takes care of the chicks, and that is love. So if you or someone you know is pressing people to shun any negative feelings and shoves love down everyone's throat, just remember that it isn't happy. We can't know love without hate to compare it to. We will never understand peace, if we never have to fight for it. We never know how strong we are on the inside until we feel powerless in the world around us. As James T. Kirk said in one of those Star Trek movies, I need my pain. My pain motivates me to never feel it again and to protect others from ever feeling it. Our feelings are needed, embrace them they are there for a reason. Finally, I have to talk about fear. Fear is a primal emotion, it is what keeps us alive and warns us of danger. Having fears doesn't make you weak. Refusing to face those fears makes you weak. We all have a fight or flight instinct, but it is very different from one person to another. One person could be so afraid of spiders that they must run away, and the next person just looks at a spider and continues walking by without a care. Courage is the ability to face and overcome your fears. I have a fear of heats, and it takes courage to get on an airplane. My fear is almost gone and I am stronger for it. It didn't lead me to the dark side of the force. So the real lesson here is not suppressing emotions and trying to live in a world of bright whites and sugars. It is learning control and balance with your emotions. Knowing when the right time is for your emotions to come out and be embraced. We grow as a person when we learn when our emotions are present for all the wrong reasons. So remember that there is a correct time to be angry or sad, and energy flows when these emotions are flowing so use them for good intent and live in balance.